All right. Hello, Ramley and other NFL family. Good morning. I am Peo Time, your Canadian Rams fan. Just woke up out of bed and checked the Twitterverse sphere. This is hot news. The So things happen during the night. <laughs> the Kansas City Chiefs have traded for DeAndre Hopkins from the Tennessee Titans. And Diana uh, Ruscini, who originally kind of talked about this Cooper Cup trade speculation. She's saying that the Rams and Chiefs discussed Cooper Cup, but the Super Bowl champs needed to trade with a team that was willing to take a large uh, on a large chunk of the salary and didn't want to give up high picks. Uh, Tennessee is the team willing to play ball. So again, if that's the case, I'm you know I'm happy that. Uh, that, that Cup is staying with the Rams. Uh, that takes one team out of the running, hopefully. <laughs> I want every team out of the running. I want Cooper Cup to stay with the Rams. But that's just a short, small update from her. I will just also go over to Jordan Rodrig, who gives the full quote uh, that I reacted to in my last video uh, from Cooper Cup's press conference here. And says... Cooper Cup on the, on trade speculation um, included multiple reports that teams had called the Rams. And Cup said, I'm aware of it, but at the end of the day, I'm going to be where my feet are. That's all I know. I have a job to do here. I take a lot of pride in giving everything I can for the guys in this building. And being able to step on the field, knowing that I've prepared the best I can. For seven and a half years, I've been an L.A. Ram, and I've taken that approach every single day. Whatever happens outside of that, I've got to control what I can control. Oh, man, that's always nervous when, when, when whenever coaches or players say, I can control what I control. Uh, right now, that means being the best L.A. Ram I can be. Again, I did a reaction to that, and I, I felt it was more of a non-answer savvy, you know, didn't lean it any other way. Uh, I see a lot of people have speculated that Cooper Cup is on the trade block, and that's that that was a tell. I I, I don't really know about that, and, and yeah, I even saw some spe speculation from Ram fans saying that you know him being held out of the Raiders game was a tell, which I disagree with. That I truly believe that was in Cooper Cup's best interest in healing from his injury. I. You know, buckle up, <laughs> buckle up. We're we're gonna have trade rumors going on, and the fact that the Rams are in prime time, uh, you know, Thursday night football does not help uh, squander any speculation of any kind. They're gonna get a lot of immediate attention this week, so I'm, I don't know, I'm 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 on the fence about you know how much weight there is to this. I am definitely not on the fence. I am. Do not trade Cooper Cup. That that is that is. One of the best players that the Rams have had in a long, a long time. He is not just really good at football. He is an amazing locker room guy. He is a leader. He is, you know, having a quarterback mind on the field in the wide receiver position. He is one of the most intelligent NFL players from a football IQ perspective uh, ever. Doesn't get enough credit for that. Cooper Cup it just. He's a no drama guy. He he shows up to work, puts his head down, does whatever he can. Uh, when he's been injured, he's done whatever he can to recover from those injuries. I I fully understand the point of view of well, there's the cap situation, and he keeps getting injured. The Rams have paid him a lot of money for a lot of games missed. I I, I get that, um, but I also would argue that he does a lot off the field that that also helps kind of alleviate that a little bit i i am i am not someone who wants the rams to trade cooper cup however i am a rams fan with the youtube channel so i do feel a responsibility to make videos and about this hear your thoughts and comments below i'm nervous there's smoke here uh, i do like what jake ellenbogen said in his video that uh the rams as a kind of well-ran organization are doing their due diligence with the trade deadline coming up if they felt they were going to move on from Cup in the offseason, then from an organizational perspective, if they can get a high value for him before the trade deadline, that's something to consider.
I, I understand that perspective. I disagree with it because I am of the you know the the biased fan perspective where I want I know the Rams started one and four and they're currently two and four and I want them to beat the Vikings and then I, I want them to go on a run. I want them to make the playoffs. I want them to have this Cinderella story. And I don't think that happens without Cooper Cup. <laughs> Uh, I'll just briefly mention, I know there's the speculation of the Vikings Stafford trade rumors. I put very little weight in that at all, but yeah, this is the world we live in right now. There's going to be lots of speculation. Uh, this is just the latest update that I got this morning. Let me know your thoughts and comments and we'll keep watching all day. I'm, I'm guessing if this, some sort of trade happens, then we'll, it probably happens after the Thursday night game and they have kind of that mini buy. Um, I, I will also be super nervous. I'll be, I'll be mega nervous if Cooper Cup plays and suits up for the game and plays in a limited capacity. If, if we don't see Cooper Cup back in his normal role, like running around pre-snap, I am so concerned that this this trade might actually happen, uh, just because they're they're protecting him from from further injury or, or something like that. Um, and and again, maybe there's the whole like, you know, teams want to see him play before they trade for him or something. I don't know. I I'm nervous. I again, I'm a huge, massive Cooper Cup fan. He's one of my favorite Rams players of all time. Uh, just there, there's so much to like about Cooper Cup, and I I I'm still hoping that he stays with the team and maybe they just restructure his contract next offseason. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you all tuning on in. And uh, you know, if something else happens, I'll try my best to, to get a video out. Uh, as always, go Rams, horns up, and peace out. Let's go Rams.